Kelly, I don't feel good. Oh, I'm retreating into my pepper. I'm a private pepper. Kelly, how do you feel? What? It's me, Bran Brandon. This is just a costume. Don't feel good. I'm gonna tuck myself up into my pepper stem. Kelly, don't look at my pepper stem. Day, what day are we? 10? Day 9. <laughs> I don't know. Day 10 of dressing up for Halloween. I'm a pepper. But I don't feel good, so I don't have any jokes. I have a couple. I'll just pepper them throughout the video. <laughs> I still got it. I'd play paper if I were you. Kelly, tell them what happened. Fine, I'll tell them what happened. I ate some bad leftovers. Well, they weren't bad, they were good. They, were, they weren't even leftovers. I didn't leave them anywhere. They'd never been left, okay? They were just overs. It was just like I ate and then decided I couldn't eat it all. And then later I decided I could probably eat it all. And I did. <sighs> You're editing this video. I'm not doing it. Hmm? Brandon, come on. I didn't even want to clean the room to film. Okay, well, I wanted to, I, I just couldn't. Okay. Well, I could. I just didn't want to. I didn't clean the room. <sighs> I have no idea what this video is about, Kelly. Have you ever looked up your name on Google? I wouldn't. Brandon roughly translates to a broom on a hill or a dweller near the Brushwood Hill. I'm from Sacramento. Why? Who? Who? Why would you name? Why would that be? Why? 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 <laughs> Kelly, what does your name mean? Hopefully not a dustpan on a hill. It's Irish, meaning bright-headed. But you're a brunette. Is that your natural hair color, Kelly? Let me look up your real name. Ooh, it's medieval. It means pure. <gasps> Aw. Well, that's not what I name you, so. People with this name tend to be quiet, cooperative, considerate. This is fun. I'm gonna go look up some people who comment on my videos and look up what their name means. Lorraine. It means the queen. <gasps> your majesty. Thank you for commenting upon my videos. Okay. Laray. Oh, it's Grace. <gasps> Your Grace. Thank you so much for commenting on spitting everywhere, Kelly. Kelly, what did your name mean again? I forget. Vanessa Leanne Hoyt. All right, Vanessa. Oh, butterfly. <gasps> Your butterfly. Thank you so much. That's the last time I'll use that joke. Maybe not. Your delicate little butterfly. I'm a pepper. Recall, mine heart. No, it's mine. Half of my channel is just making fun of my community's name. Victory of people. What? Congrats on your victory. Mary Bowes. Okay, Mary. If this has nothing to do with a little lamb, I will be a little mad. Okay, Mary meaning bitter, beloved, rebelliousness, wished for child. What? Aubrey Pearson, elf power. <laughs> Fair ruler of the little people. <laughs> Aubrey, your name means fair ruler of the little people. My queen. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. That's a good one. Erica Blaylock. Here we go. Eternal ruler, ever powerful. What's with all, ever, all y'all are rulers and I'm but a broom on a hill? We don't remember what Kelly was. What was yours, Kelly? Kelly, bright-headed. Later understood as frequenting churches. Jaylee. Garfias um, means gold. Wow! A broom. Gold. We're just a couple of bright-headed brooms on a hill, Kelly. These, all y'all have cool name meanings. What was my mom thinking? She's probably thinking about cleaning the house. That's probably what she was thinking. Boy, I gotta sweep, but I'm up on this hill and pregnant. What should I name my baby? Melinda Rotobo. Honeybee. Yes, dear. I like that. Natalie Paris. Natalie with a T-H means Christmas Day? Merry Christmas, Natalie. Me and Kelly are gonna send you a broom. Valerie Moore. Valerie. To be strong, healthy. I wish I was Valerie. I am, what's the opposite of Valerie? That's gonna be a weird thing to type into Google. Oh, the masculine name, Valeri. I am Valeri, okay? I have Valeria. I am not Valerie. Ooh, Janella Slate. Jehovah has been gracious and has shown favor. Your name means a lot, okay? There's a lot there. Jehovah has been gracious and shown favor. Upon who, the brooms and the brightheadeds? Doubtful, we're not Valerie. Well, you're a portrait, you can't get Valeri. That was a hard sentence to get out. Oh, I'm so glad Jehovah has been gracious to you. Ooh, Corinna Curran, Maiden Spear. Wow, that's hardcore. Jamie Driscoll. Jamie. 10 points if you know where that's from. Supplanter? Supplanter? The heck's a supplanter, Kelly? You're the bright-headed one. Rulers of countries. Of course, everyone's a queen and king here. No big deal. It means to trip up or to overthrow. Misty, uh, Misty Turner. Well, that might not be a good thing to type in. 
Yeah. Full or covered with mist. I get that. What does the name mean? Webster. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah, it means mist. Good lord. Who am I? I'm not the bright-headed one in the family. Leslie Ford. Uh, it can either mean Garden of Hollies or the Grey Fort. Would you rather have a Grey Fort or have to frolic through a garden full of hollies? Just doing whatever hollies do. Rick White. All right, our first guy. <laughs> a stack of hay. Really? Do you know your name means a stack of hay? Look on the bright side, things could be worse. You could be an indoor cleaning supplies on top of an outdoor hill. Kathy Schaefer, my battery's dying. Also, what does your name mean? Numbers hold the key to our innermost personality. That is a mouthful of pure awesomeness. It also means pure. Yeah, if you don't want to explain to people in a paragraph what your name means, you can always just say pure. Jana. Oh, that's a good one. Jana Alexander. Flourished. Heaven or paradise? Hill. <laughs> Tiffany says your hair has taken on a life of its own. I got a haircut, Tiffany. Now I'm gonna find out what your name means. Manifestation of God. They said this name sometimes is given to girls born on the 12th night of what year, month, what date? That's Wednesday? What's your birthday? <laughs> okay, I'll do one more and then I'm gonna sleep for the rest of the day. Donna, D-O-N-N-A. Because, thank you Donna, I got a package in the mail today and it just so happened to be a couple costumes. It was getting expensive. Donna, your name means, it means woman. <laughs> Lady of the home. The literal meaning is girl or woman. Donna, that's the most accurate name I've ever, cause I am not a broom, okay? But you are a woman. Kelly, are you, you're a brunette. That's pretty cool. Lady of the home. <laughs> it's 2019, okay? She can be a lady of the workplace if she wants, okay? All right, if any of y'all got like hills behind your house that you need swept, you let me know. That's who I am now. I'm a broom on a hill.